What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a particle background on WordPress using Elementor. Now um, in one of my videos I did do a uh, parallax um, tutorial and I think one of you guys mentioned that um, you guys would like to see a video on maybe having uh, particles on your, um, on your uh, parallax. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So obviously, first of all, make sure um, you watch that other video to um, to set up your um, your parallax right here, your parallax scrolling effect. Um, then after you have done that, you can go ahead and watch this. Or if you just want to add a uh, particle background without the without the parallax, then you can go ahead and just uh, keep watching. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, download a plugin and let's over, head over to my uh, dashboard, go over to plugins and I'm not going to go through installing the plugin because uh, I don't think that's necessary. Um, the plugin is called uh, Piotnet um, add-on for Elementor. It's this one right here. So make sure you download this plugin and install it. And once you have that installed, head over to your, um, to your page that you want to add the particles on. And click with uh, with uh, Elementor. And then let's go ahead and um, add some particles to this um, section here. So let's go ahead and click the section at the top here. And then you'll see something that says um, right here. It says uh, PF. I think that's what it says. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, so it's just the last one there um, and then so what you're gonna do you're gonna see here that says uh, PF PF um, particles um, and then you're gonna want to do enable um, particles and you're not gonna be able to see the particles you have to save it and then um, and then go ahead and preview the the screen and then you'll be able to see them um, but uh, yours will most likely start off as being red because I did kind of already adjust this so anyway um, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna change it to white or any color that you want your particles to be. So I'm gonna have them white. Um, and then I know that for a fact that when I first started mine off, they were probably like this. So um, that's how probably yours will look pretty similar to this right here. Um, so yeah, this is it right here. As you can tell, there's a lot of particles and it is, um, little bit laggy but we want to probably have less particles just so then it will be less laggy and I don't want these squares right maybe I want to have a circle instead so I want to do a circle right and then the, I want to have less particles I only want to have 200 particles and then the size of the particles I want to make them pretty small so I'm just gonna do two and then I'm gonna save that there and refresh this and as you can tell that looks a lot better right um, now let's say I want to do I want to have a custom image for one of my uh, particles. You can do that as well. You can just do image and then um, select this. This I haven't really um, tried too much, but I know that you can. But let's just test this out. Let's see how this would this. I feel like this would be pretty cool. Just a random logo like floating. Just a random bunch of logos. It's probably gonna lag, but let's see. Yeah. So I yeah I think it's they're in there. You just they're really small, so um, you can't even notice that. I'm not really going to mess with that too much, so I don't want to really slow down my website. Um, so yeah, and then uh, if for your hover effect, because most of yours would be probably at none, I would set it to pulse. Basically, what that does is whenever you hover over it, you see that it kind of uh, will move around. Um, so that's what that does there. And then also pulse as well when you click on it too. Or you can do grab, you can do bubble, um, or you can just really try those out. Um, and if you do want to have the particles moving faster, you can also do that too. You can set it to 10 or maybe, or maybe slower, you know, maybe we can set it to two. Let's see how slow they are. So as you can tell, they're a lot slower now, right? That that's actually really cool. I should probably leave this on this website. To be honest, I think I am going to leave this on here. So you'll probably be seeing this in my other tutorials when I make some, um, some videos on some other stuff. Um, so that is super cool. Look at that. Let's maybe make, I can make the particles a little bit bigger. And let's, yeah, let's, let's see how that looks. Okay, there we go. That actually looks pretty cool. 
Um, but to be honest, I did like it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to do about 150 um, particles. And I think that's going to be it for me. Yep, I think that looks good. Even though you can't see it that well, I just I still think it's still pretty cool just having it like that. I don't think it needs to be that um, that visible. So um, I'll probably just leave it on this um, on this front section here, and then I'll leave the rest as they are. Um, but that's how you guys do that. I hope you guys did uh, find this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to um, like the video and subscribe. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.